Hi guys, it's me Chazar HD and welcome to my final video of 2019 and this video is simply me thanking you guys for the great year I've had and reviewing the year we've had on YouTube and how the channel was done during 2019 and later on as we'll get on to, uh, we get into some highlights of the watch alongs which I'm sure you guys are looking forward to but first off, let's do a month by month review. So in January, there wasn't that much growth, but we were, you know, building towards pre-season testing, which of course in January, we're so keen for pre-season testing and the car reveals to get underway. Then we got into car reveals and testing. I have to thank Nib a lot for helping out when it came to the car reveals and covering that. And then once we got into testing, it was quite a tough period because the first test was, uh, you know, me covering it on streams, but... Those later got copyrighted because for some reason FOM decided to copyright every F1 YouTuber's content for pre-season testing, which hopefully doesn't happen again because, quite frankly, it was unlawful. And then for the second test, unfortunately, I couldn't upload anything because, again, the whole ban on content, but also I was at the second test and it was proving quite hard to upload content from uh, Barcelona. So... That's why testing was a bit all over the place, but I enjoyed the testing period. And then once we got into the season, for the channel, not necessarily, you know, in the 2019 season, but the first half of the season for the channel was very, very strong. In Australia and Bahrain, the views and the growth was very good. Then once we got Nibelong on the watch-alongs, it continued to grow. And then once we got to Baku, that was the first big moment, honestly, of 2019 for the channel because in qualifying for Baku on my qualifying watch along I had 1,000 live viewers that's the first time I had over a thousand people watching a stream of mine on this website and that is definitely a big moment which I will remember for quite a long time and then of course for the race we had the same if not bigger numbers but then of course we got copyrighted not for the last time, of course, in 2019, but we bounced back very nicely, I think, from that in Spain and Monaco. The numbers kept up and we were still growing nicely. And then once we got into June and July, the main months of summer, basically, this is the part of the year where this channel really, really did take off. In June, we gained about 1,500 subscribers, which is considering how my growth pattern has normally been on this website, is quite mental. And then in July, I gained about 1,000 subs. So that's 2.5k we gained in two months. And again, I cannot thank you guys enough for that. And it was a truly mental and brilliant time of the season and of the year, June and July. But unfortunately, once we got into early August and the final race before the summer break, we had another copyright issue and this one was a lot more painful for me because the numbers we had at the time live were incredible we had almost two and a half thousand people watching our hungarian grand prix race watch along it was absolutely amazing i still can't believe i was able to i guess draw that many people to watch me and nib basically take you through the, the events of the Grand Prix. And of course, the week before in Hockenheim, which we'll get onto later with the highlights of that watch along, we also had nearly 2.5k watching that. And it was a truly mental time, but it was very much eliminated, you know, the great feelings of, you know, hitting those numbers once we got to the Hungarian Grand Prix, again, because of that copyright strike. But thankfully, that has been the final copyright claim or issue we've had during 2019 and then once we came back from the summer break of course it was the belgian grand prix which for me is a very painful memory because i had lots of technical issues that weekend before the crash and i think you know exactly what i mean by the crash and that day especially that saturday qualifying day was very tough for me personally because again the qualifying watch along, if you watched it, you'll know there were lots of technical issues. I think my stream stopped a couple times and I had to split it into two because simply the old laptop I was on, which thankfully I'm not using anymore, was causing the stream to be so disrupted. 
and I was honestly questioning whether, you know, streaming the next day anyway, technically. But then, of course, the crash happened, and that just completely eliminated any chance of me doing a Belgian Grand Prix race watch along because simply I was not in a good enough emotional state to be doing a stream because I was, and I'm, you know, I'm going to admit this, I was emotionally broken after that crash of Antoine Hubert and Correa in the F2 race at Spa. And there was absolutely no chance I could do a stream when in that, again, mental and emotional state. And to be honest, it did kind of affect me going into September because the growth of the channel in September wasn't too great. And the numbers, again, were not as good as they were previously. We did have good moments and there were good races in September. But in terms of the growth of the channel, it wasn't going as well as it did previously. And I think, honestly, that all started with the Hungarian copyright issue. And then it just got put onto another level with the crash of Antoine Hubert and Correa in Spa. And I'll be honest, it put me in a slump. I was quite depressed going into October because I wasn't sure whether my channel was going to be able to grow that much more for the rest of the year. But thankfully, October was a big month for the channel. The views were right back up. The growth was going a lot better than it was previously. And there were plenty of videos that were getting lots of views during October, for example, my Hamilton versus Schumacher video and other videos in October, you know, the watch alongs and stuff like that were doing better than the month previous and things were looking up again. But then sadly in November, even though I was in a good state of mind and I was looking forward to the final couple races at the end of the season, we had one quite big technical issue that eliminated my hopes of getting 10,000 subscribers for the end of 2019 which of course was the aim for 2019 for this channel at the start of 2019 and this technical issue the lack of broadband basically knocked me out of action for about 10 days and i'm gonna be honest i think if i had broadband and that issue did not happen i think i would probably now be just about getting onto 10k and it's a shame we missed the brazilian grand prix because I can only imagine what mine and Nib's reaction to that race would have been. It would have been absolutely mental. So it is a shame we missed out on that, but that is just life at the end of the day. And then this final month in December, I think has been pretty good. You guys seem to enjoy the longer detailed analysis I'm doing. That I've done with Ferrari and Renault and Verstappen versus Hamilton and the Carlos Sainz video. And that is the way in 2020 especially that the channel is going to go into longer videos not necessarily videos you know that are going to be longer just for the sake of being longer but they're going to be longer because the analysis is going to be better and more detailed than it has been before so that is my year on this website but before we get into the highlights of the watch alongs which is really my highlights of the year in terms of content i just want to thank all of my subs for subscribing, the ones who have liked my videos, commented down below, you know, positive messages, and anyone who has provided support for me, Nib, anyone, you know, who contributes to the channel, I cannot, and they also cannot thank you guys enough for that support. I also want to thank everyone who donated Super Chat money. I'm very, very appreciative of that. And I also want to thank Niblo, who of course has helped out a lot during 2019, not only on the watch-alongs, but the car reveal streams, the podcast episodes as well, which of course we do basically every week once the season gets underway. And also I want to thank my moderators, Tonka, Stella, and now Rooksfoot for their contribution to the channel as well. And also I will thank everyone in the Discord server for their support as well. But I think now it's about time to get on to the highlights of these watch-alongs. Now, I've picked four races, which for me are personal highlights in terms of excitement and me and Nib basically screaming. So first off, we'll start in Bahrain, the first good race, proper good race of 2019, where I was losing my mind, basically, over how great of a race it was. And this is where it really peaked. Turn... He's moving in the braking zone to try and distract Vettel. And Vettel has been distracted. 
and he's gone wide and Hamilton will now get a run towards turn four DRS slipstream and Lewis Hamilton oh right around the outside and Vettel has spun Sebastian Vettel spins the Ferrari what happened there he put his foot on the throttle and the whole car just pirouetted and went round what happened there to Vettel that the next proper great race in 2019 was in Canada. And this race was very, very controversial, of course, for the Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel incident. And this is what we thought of what happened live. Kivia and Stroll, who are battling for positions. So this, this will be tough. Vettel's off the track! Vettel's off the track and he blocks Hamilton out! Vettel making a critical error, but he keeps the lead. Oh, that was very close to losing the lead. Very, Holy very smart. close. Now, the next Grand Prix watch along is, in my opinion, the second best watch along experience I've had in 2019. And it is the British Grand Prix, the race, of course, for the British Grand Prix. And me and Nib had a whale of a time commentating on this race, a race that can be simply described as the Verstappen versus Leclerc Chronicles. About half a second. Can Verstappen have a go? Let's see. He gets in the slipstream. Does Max Verstappen go for it? Oh! He thought about it and Leclerc cut him off. And now Max is look, right in the slipstream of Charles Leclerc. Will he go down the inside? No, Leclerc defends the inside line. And Verstappen. Oh, so close to the rear. <laughs> Couldn't get any closer to the rear end of that Ferrari. As Valtteri Bottas on lap 11 does a new fastest lap of 130.7. But... Max is so close to getting past that Ferrari. And now Vettel, because Leclerc is going slow, Vettel is now closing. And Verstappen, you have to say, yeah, definitely the closest he's been. Those soft tyres have had enough. And look at this, Max round the outside. Oh, that could have been contact. And now Vettel will get a run. Sebastian Vettel opens the DRS. Slipstream. And now goes round the outside. No, down the inside now. Max what cuts him off doing? again. Vettel all over the place trying to get past Max Verstappen. This is great stuff. Both Ferrari and Red Bull going head to head. Here as... comes Leclerc on Verstappen. He's going to try and go around the outside. He, has he oh, done it? What a move. Forces him off the track and keeps going off the track and they're off oh, the track again. And somehow Verstappen's got past. Leclerc in the slipstream. Oh, Will he go around the outside? No, he doesn't. Look at Carlos Sainz right there. Oh my god, this is the best battle I think I've ever seen. But of course, the best watch along experience, the most highest viewed video on my channel of 2019 and all time, and the best moment really on the channel so far has to be the race watch along for the 2019 German Grand Prix. If you thought the previous clip, me and Nib were going mental, kick up your feet and listen to this where me and Nib were losing our minds for two hours straight. And these clips are the best of those mental two hours. Norris. Norris off the track. He's out. He's out. He's got a reliability issue. Lando Norris is out of the Grand Prix. And then oh! Uh, and racing Stroll. Point. Stroll is off. I don't know if he's stuck in the gravel, but he's out, I think. As uh, Giovinazzi and Gasly are pitting and Grosjean. But Stroll is in the gravel. I don't know if he's still there or not. But uh, Leclerc will be on the first lap out of the pits. He will be pretty good, Charles, because uh, he has more experience on the dry tyres. And those words, guys, would be incredibly famous final words. Because literally, this next clip was the next thing that happened after I said that. Oh, Leclerc's in the wall! Leclerc, is that like, yes it is, Charles Leclerc's in the wall. And he's out of this race. Charles Leclerc has... And you have to say has bottled it at the I think that's turn eight or no it's the final corner I think the final corner Carlos Sainz is sixth oh, oh. Hamilton Hamilton's gone off Hamilton's off and he's going into the pit lane but he hasn't and he's broken his front wing look he's broken he's his front damage. wing and um it's yeah, it's raining again he's broke his front wing and Bottas now leads but Bottas and Verstappen are gonna have to pit again oh what is going on. Hamilton oh comes my in. days! They're not ready. They don't know what's going on. This is utter chaos in the pit lane here for Mercedes, and Sebastian Vettel is on the intermediate tyres. It's is that utter chaos here. They can't get the front wing off. What is going on? 
I have no idea what's going on. Hamilton is still in second, apparently, but I don't believe that. Front wing goes on. They haven't got any tyres ready. Now they have. No, they haven't. They've got no tyres on. What is going on? Hulkenberg is now third. And that's why Hamilton went off, Nib, because you said it started raining again. Hamilton's still they in the pit know. lane. They don't know what tyres to put on. They got the inters Hamilton... on. Now he goes out. He, go. He's been in the pits for a minute. That was a 50-second pit stop. Um, super chat from Jungle Girl. Oh, Hulkenberg oh. at the wall! Hulkenberg! Oh, he's out. Surely Hulkenberg is out. He's blown the possible podium again. Oh, at no. the final corner. And it is struck again. He's out, surely. He's got to be out of this race. Oh, what a disaster for Renault. <laughs> Antonio Giovinazzi, will he go right around the outside? Yes, he does. Great move by Sebastian Vettel. But well, Albert's I'm... passed Hamilton. Al yes, he has. Albert, uh, Hamilton's made a mistake and Sainz is all over the back. And Gasly. Albert right around the outside. Will he go for it? No, Hamilton will just block him uh, off. Watch out for Sainz. Sainz up the inside. He is... But Hamilton, I think we'll have just about enough power to pull back ahead. But Science is now up to P4. Alban, will he go around the outside, Alban? No, he will not. Valtteri Bottas a little bit, certainly on the last lap. And of course, now with DRS, as we've got Ooh. yellow flags in the first sector. Hamilton! That's Hamilton! 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 He's, off at, he's off at turn one, and I think he's broke his front wing again. Yes, he has. He's broke some no, it, of it. There's wheel to wheel contact, no damage done. I'm sure Gunter Steiner will be very angry, but end of the day, it's done no damage to Sebastian Vettel is now within a second of... Oh, Bottas has gone spinning off, and he's, he's in the wall! Bottas is out! out the... He's out! Safety car! Oh, my God! It's Toto Wolf. They slammed their desk! He's Valtteri out. Bottas is out of this race! And Vettel is up to third, and now has Daniel Kibia in his sights for second. Oh! And... Gasly's got an issue, front wing, and he's, he's off. out. He's out. Uh, yeah, front, he must have hit Alban. It's and a puncture. Absolutely, as he rounds the final two corners, and Max Verstappen brilliantly wins the 2019 German Grand Prix. Great drive, and in P2 from P20 on the grid is Sebastian Vettel. And in third, Daniel Kvyat for Toro Rosso, that first podium in 11 years. Stroll fourth, Sainz fifth, Albon sixth, Raikkonen seventh, Kvyatzi eighth, Grosjean ninth, Magnussen is going to get tenth ahead of Hamilton. Hamilton will not score ahead of Kubica and Russell. Retirements, Gasly, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Ricardo, Perez, Norris. But yes, 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 what a race. I loved every bloody second of it. What a race, what a moment, what a stream. And thankfully, you guys were able to be there to enjoy it with me and Nib. And of course, don't forget, guys, me and Nib will be back with Watch Alongs in 2020 as well. And I cannot wait for more great moments, great watch alongs in 2020. And until the new year 2020 and the 2020 Formula 1 season, I hope you guys have a very happy new year period. And until the next video next year, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.